Tariq Kamisa Foundation, the acronym TKF comes from his initials. The mandate or the mission statement of TKF is to stop kids from killing kids by breaking the cycle of youth violence and planting seeds of hope in their future. TKF came as a result of my son Tariq being murdered by a 14-year-old gang member, Tony Hicks. I took a different response than most people. I saw that there were victims at both ends of the gun. Of course, I had compassion for my son. I also felt compassion for the 14-year-old who took my son's life. So I founded the TKF and I reached out in forgiveness to Tony's grandfather, Ples Felix, and we worked together. And we go to, and we, we go to schools and we have programs to keep kids away from gangs, guns, violence, alcohol, and drugs. And sometimes it scars the soul forever. We have a child for you that's been shot, and was shot many times, and I watched him, and I watched his face, and I saw some of our children that, that are hardened, and I watched their faces change, and I could tell they were thinking about the message, and I could tell that there's going to be a change in their lives. I feel good to be a peacemaker because I, sh so, I know that if you do violence, it's bad. My friend, last week, he was just killed over here in the corner of Robertson by a drive-by shooting. I really didn't know what to do. I was scared. I was terrified. If you're in a gang, you probably want, you need to get out of it because the only thing you're going to get from a gang is problems. I really didn't feel like I'm important, like nobody even cares. Yeah, so I didn't feel like I was, I really mattered what I did. Now that I'm a peace ambassador, I feel that um, about myself, that I, I matter more and People care more. We're not in gangs and everything. We're like we're trying to teach other kids not to do it, like spreading peace, something like that. Well, to me, Circle of Peace is like a place and like a group of people that I can actually trust and I know I could tell them anything. And they help me and they give me like new ways to help other people. And like when they need it or they don't feel good or they have problems with other people. Well, it's a good like group. I think everybody should be in it, like anybody that can, because like it helped me a lot because I would never have confidence to do something like this, like an interview or San Francisco or anything, because I'm a really shy person, but it gave me confidence to do a lot of stuff. To me, it's just special because it teaches kids how, how to do things, and not just because they want everybody to be the same, just because they don't, they want peace and they don't want, they don't want anything bad to happen anymore to anybody. Even if you hate that person, you should always care about them, because something could happen, and if, and if you laugh at them, they won't feel good. It'll just make them feel worse. I've learned that I can be way more respectful than I've ever been. I used to always have an attitude and be mean and whatnot. Yeah, I see that I've changed. All I know is that I'm going to be able to write a book about Circle of Peace. The mentoring program is where uh, we as mentors get to be with kids and be their friends and I think that's like the most important part of it is because we allow them to have like an outlet um, like no other that they've had in their life. One of the kids at the school I was at when I first started mentoring him, he was in detention every single day and his teachers told me that he wasn't gonna, he wasn't gonna make it to the next grade and Little by little, the teacher's like, hey, he's doing a little bit better. He's doing a little bit better. And uh, 
instead of five days a week in detention, he came down to two days a week in detention. And by the end of the year, he was in detention no more, and he ended up moving on to the next grade with decent grades. And the teacher and his parents were came up to me and were happy and thanked me. And Basically, our job is just to be their friends, and I think that's a, uh, the most important part uh, about the program is because these kids don't get the certain opportunities that um, other children may have because of maybe where, they, where they're from or what schools they go to or just any general um, family issues that may have gone through because I'm really silly and ha like to have fun and I think ki kids need to learn that that's okay and that needs to happen. <laughs> so I just, it's, it's fun for me. I love being around kids. There's an energy that I can't get from other things and you know, it keeps me going every day. It's just it's awesome because the mentors are like the best people ever. <laughs> and we like, we appreciate all of what they have done all this year. And they're awesome. And we care about that and we love them. We do the impossible. I had one particular student named Marcellus who started fifth grade off really rough in a not so easy way and uh, he actually was arrested early on in the year and it really impacted of course you know his family his grandmother who is raising him and his other two brothers and so it just progressed and I know Marcellus has been in some uh, problems he's had some problems and and uh, he know that it has affected his family. And he started hanging out, you know, of course, with these troublemakers and making poor choices right off the bat. And so we intervened immediately and did, you know, what we could do. And then we brought TKF. We found you guys. He was the one that it impacted the most because he had already been arrested. He was on probation. And he would go home and tell his grandma, I don't want to end up like Tony Hicks. I don't want to be in prison, Grandma. I don't want you to have to come visit me there. And I learned from that because at first I used to do things without thinking, and then at the end, when I would find out what it was and already have the consequence, then I would say, I wish I never did that, but I knew since I already did it, it wasn't no bringing it back because it was already done. And now I'm thinking before I do anything, and I'm thinking if I'm going to have a good consequence or a bad consequence. Everybody was trying to help that little kid, and they did. Eventually, he came to the part where he stood up and said, okay, I'm responsible for my behavior. I can't blame anyone else. It's me, and I need to be the one to change it. So that's what he's done. Marcellus would, you know, when he started changing and turning things around, he would come in and he'd share with me something positive that he had done. You know, that was, it went from all these negative things that I've done to look at all these positive things I've done. And when I say he turned things around, he went from being sus arrested and suspended to not even one lunch detention. Not even one lunch detention. I think it helped me in my life because um, if I wouldn't have never seen that video, I think I would have probably been like the fifth grader, probably in trouble like some of my classmates. It just was this process that we watched him go through and it was, it touched my heart. It did, you know, I mean, I try as an adult to make good choices and I fumble myself, but for a little 11 year old to show me, you know, an educator of 19 years, you know, how to make good choices and to speak to me and help me was amazing, just amazing. The ones that want to embrace or that is looking for something to hold on to, something to give them hope. And hope is only hearing other people's experiences. So, you know, let them hear why they can before something else take them. You know, it's so much out here. You know, but I think that if they can get a hold on 
the nonviolence, I think it would make a difference in their lives. I really do. Forgiving is like, is another piece of your heart. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I have been blessed by TKF today. Thank you.